guys, welcome back to the most controversial podcast in Malaysia, Waver's Podcast. I'm your host, Derek Chow. Today, we have Mr. Aaron Tang, aka Mr. Stingy, who runs a personal blog where he writes about optimizing time, money, and relationships. Apart from that, he's also Malaysia's country manager for Luno. This episode will be held differently. It will be a written podcast where Mr. Stingy has already written his responses, which will be a pre recorded voiceover. My good friend, Kaysen, will be reading out his responses today. What's up, Kaysen? What's up? Yo, yo, yo. Okay, so today is going to be held differently, as mentioned. Mm -hmm. So, right, I got a question for you. So, what made you want to take up the role of reading out the responses of Mrs. Stingy? Uh, As you know, that uh, Mrs. Stingy can't attend. Because he has he's busy at the moment, yeah. as he has work to do as well. Mm. So um, I'll just be here helping out on behalf of his responses as well. But yeah, uh, good to be on this channel to see my boys progressing well with <laughs> my friends. Yeah, so great to be invited here, you know. Yeah, really, I I really appreciate your time. You 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 taking your time and things like that. Cause yeah, yeah, no problem, no problem. Our final exam is like a few months down the road. So for real, for real. <laughs> so I really appreciate your yeah. effort, your time, and yeah, and you yeah, being no a good problem. friend as well. So <laughs> right, so mm. let's get straight to the point and let's get straight to uh the episode. Right, so up to the first question, what is crypto in general is it somewhat like gambling would you recommend young adults to get into it as a side hustle if no what other methods would you recommend uh cryptocurrencies are digital assets assets meaning things that have value digital meaning these assets exist completely online on the internet uh yeah crypto is not gambling it is just a natural piece of technology. Of course, people can choose to gamble on it, just like how people can choose to gamble on stocks, card games, or football matches. If a young adult is interested in crypto, I recommend them to first start learning about it by reading or watching videos from reputable sources online. In Malaysia, you can find learning material on this at www.luno.com. Generally speaking, I don't think investing uh, whether it's in crypto or anything else, it's a great side hustle at a young age. But at a young age, it's probably better to focus on generating income by doing side gigs in your free time. For example, doing services for friends and family and getting paid for it. All right, so up to the second question. Crypto versus Forex trading, which is safer and why? I don't have experience in Forex trading, so I'm not qualified to give any opinions here. What I will say is trading in whatever asset comes with risk and people need to be careful when doing it. How did you get into crypto and why do you enjoy it? I've been learning about crypto since 2016. I started writing about it online at my blog at mrstingy.com if any of you want to visit. Uh, Yeah, a crypto exchange, which is Luno, found some of my posts and asked me if we could do a webinar together. So yeah, we did it, and they must have liked me because a few weeks after that, they asked if I wanted to apply for a job there. I got hired by Luno and have been there since 2018. I enjoy working in crypto because it's at the intersection of many of my interests, finance, technology, computer science, and so on. I think it's a rare opportunity to work in a groundbreaking industry and count myself very blessed. Uh, disclaimer though, although I work full time in Luno, everything I'm saying here is purely my personal opinion, not the company's opinion. I heard you came from an engineering industry. What was the calling during the journey to allow you to be in the position you are currently at? Yeah, an engineering degree is a great foundation to join any industry. In my case, I spent nine years in the oil and gas industry two years in the social enterprise or leadership development industry before I went into crypto full-time. I've managed to find success in multiple industries because I believe knowledge can be transferred across multiple areas as long as you keep your mind open, keep learning. 
How can I use crypto properly to earn money? Well, the easiest way to earn via crypto is to invest in cryptocurrencies. Buy them on a reputable crypto exchange and then sell when it's time to make profits or take profits. This is a lot harder in practice because there are no guarantees in investing. Just like how the price of coins can go up and make you money, <laughs> they also can go down and therefore you can lose money as well. Yeah, risk management is very important. Don't forget. What are the differences? Sorry. What are the different types of crypto and which do you recommend in terms of security? There are thousands of cryptocurrencies, but the best known ones are Bitcoin and Ethereum. This isn't a recommendation to buy them, but these two uh, cryptocurrencies should be the first that you, sh uh, you should study and learn about. Right. What caused NFT crypto to suddenly rise up in price and reduce in price? What? Why is the market so unstable? How, in your opinion, Sam Bankman fried, fried the founder of FTX, impact the market and how to avoid getting affected impactfully? What's your prediction on when crypto will take over cash? Well, firstly, like any nascent market, mm -hmm. NFTs and crypto trade on supply and demand. When there's a surge of demand, this can raise prices very dramatically. Similarly, when there's no interest and everyone is selling, this can crash prices. Uh, a note is that on certain unregulated markets, there might also be bad criminal actors who are attempting to manipulate prices. Sam Bankman Fried is currently under criminal investigation in the USA for what happened at FTX. Many people lost money, which me included, for what appears to be fraud and criminal activity. To avoid similar debacles, I would recommend anyone who wants to explore crypto to use regulated crypto exchanges. In Malaysia, there are four types of these exchanges which are regulated and approved by government authorities. What are your thoughts on social media influencers scamming people off their NFT projects? Well, of course, this is horrible. Influencers should be responsible instead of using their influence to scam people. If I were to be if I were to be investing in crypto, when should I start and how should I do it? For me, I think the best way is to start on a regulated crypto exchange like Luno. You have to be 18 years old and above to have an account though. Till then, you can start by checking out the learning center materials first. Last but not least, how do you think crypto can change the world? Crypto is powerful because it's fundamentally a decentralized technology. This means it's tough for anyone on our uh, for any one organization or party or government to control it. Rather, it's a technology that's democratic and belongs to people everywhere. Decentralized technologies like the internet have brought many amazing advances in the world. I'm confident that crypto will be the same. Lastly, what do you think of the Waivers podcast? As a content creator myself, I think that you've started at a really young age, which is cool. So yeah, just keep creating amazing content and I'm sure you'll find it to be very rewarding in the future. Right, so that's all we have from Mr. Stingy. So, okay, I think I really want to ask you before we end today's episode, what do you think of the Waivers podcast in your opinion, Kason? In my opinion. Definitely, right? you don't uh, have to be like, you know, say good, all good <laughs> things only. So I'm open to hear like yeah. suggestions and things like that. Definitely. Okay, well, for me, I've watched some of this uh, episode. Actually, not bad. Um, Thank you. you boys have been doing a good job recently. Uh, yeah, although the, the episodes might be a bit messy here and there. There's some confusion sometimes with myself even from watching it. <laughs> but in the end, it's still all good. Yeah, it's not bad, but yeah, just keep up the good work. Editing is good. Every intro is good. Yeah, and it inspires some people. Though I know some people that are out there might not like it, but you know, they're the critics and then they're the ones who support. <laughs> but in the end, just do what you love, you know? Just 
follow your dreams and you never know you can get something out of it yeah mm. right really appreciate your time yeah. man all right welcome welcome bro thing yeah i think we can sign up for today all right uh all right. that's it for today guys thank you guys for watching and we'll catch you guys in a bit peace <laughs> Like Pablo, Pablo, cut dope like Pablo, cut dope, chop trees with the Draco, Draco, on enough got Diego, Diego, I still a wiggle, the wiggle, we'll be in rapping Kilo, snub nose, we'll be painful, check, check out, no matter